the one thing I figured out today is how to make Trader Joe's mochi cake from scratch. So I feel like this always happens to me. I fall in love with these items at the supermarket and I go the next time and it's no longer there, especially with a lot of these like fun seasonal items. I figured out how to make this mochi cake from scratch because I was really disappointed to see that they no longer have it anymore. So to start off, you combine the sugar with the eggs. Just whisk those together until the eggs combine into sugar. So next you have the evaporated milk. So this is the ingredient that gives it that tropical feel. It's coconut cream, not to be confused when you're at the grocery store shelves looking at all those options of coconut milk or cream of coconut, which is what goes in your pina coladas. Although if you get that and you have to make the pina colada while you're making this cake, it goes perfectly well together. You add some vanilla and you continue to mix this all together. So next you have a little bit of melted butter. All right, and then next, it's just an entire box of this. No measuring needed, just open it straight up and dump it right in. Start mixing it together. And the other great thing about this is because it's made with rice flour, this cake is completely gluten-free. All right, I'm gonna add the next ingredient, which is some baking powder, and then a little bit of salt. Continue to mix that all together. Final ingredient to add is some dried coconut. <laughs> We're gonna have to check. Let's see. It's best used by April 5th, 2020. So I still have a good half a year. <laughs> so I have a nine by 13 pan. Um, I have it lined with parchment paper so that's just easy to take the cake in and out and you also don't have to worry about like getting all those little bits stuck in it later. So you pour in batter, just about like an inch tall. This is not a cake that's gonna rise a whole ton so you don't have to worry about like it bubbling over in your oven at any point. So now we're gonna pop it into a 350 oven and let it go for about an hour until it sets. So nice and golden brown. All the crusty little edges that you normally love with a cake. So I'm just gonna finish it up with a, like a little dusting of coconut to kind of give it even more texture and flavor. So now I'm gonna cut a piece and give it a try. And so you can see from the inside, it's all that kind of like smooth elastic texture which gives mochi cake that like really great kind of bubbly kind of texture. I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. Mm. It's that perfect balance of like something that's like really springy on the inside, but then you have these really lovely little golden edges. I feel like it's pretty close. I can't, I don't think I can tell the difference. So, you, you know, for those of you guys who have tried mochi cake from the supermarket and you're gonna make this at home, you have to let me know how close did I get. If you like this video, watch more One Thing videos on thespruceeats.com.